Hey, if you're looking for a place to relax and watch somebody draw, you came to the right place. Join me today as we draw a wonderful flower garden with paper and markers. So we're just drawing some little flowers here today. I'm not sure if you guys can tell by the shape of these. I just, uh, so what I start off was like, a. Th uh, if you guys are drawing along today, I'm just kind of do a three. See that, like a three, maybe another three over here. And then you come around, spin the page, and then kind of do it again to, to finish the flower. See how that does that? Isn't that cool? You're just doing, and then I put a center in there, kind of curve it. We're just doing the these three-like things. Kind of cool how it works. Let's do a couple more. See how they... And you put the center on it. Kind of pretty how it works. We'll color those in here in a minute, but yeah, back to that uh, flower thing. You know, so you've gone all winter and uh, then all of a sudden you look out in your yard. I mean, this is what we have around here. It's called a, it's called a uh, crocus. Kind of a different name for a flower, but they're beautiful little things. They kind of look like they're little tiny flowers. They're kind of this color, actually. The ones we have are purplish. But um, you wait wait to see those all year. And the next thing you know, you step out in your yard, you see them. And the next thing, you know what? They're already gone. It's amazing how life works. So... And then you move on to the next one, which we just have outside. I may film that part for a, just a clip on the video because it's since this is flowers, I might film a couple flowers in my yard just to put on there. But the next one that we get is called a daffodil. And uh, they are just beautiful. We have yellow daffodils in our yard. So the crocuses are about gone. The daffodil, uh, the daffodils come up. I might film some daffodils so you guys can see what they are. They're beautiful. And uh, so here we are, we're just spinning, spinning and making pet leaf petal or flower petals. Can you guys see how this works? Isn't it cool? So you're just spinning your paper. I'm just talking as I do this, like it's nothing. See that, isn't that beautiful how that comes out? You're just spinning your paper, no big deal. And you got your little like, I don't know, maybe like poppy type things over here. Let's color those in real quick. Um, let me see if I have a yellowish orange. I think I have a yellowish orange over here. But I like to make the, the centers look a little different, so color that in a little bit different. Yeah, choosing a favorite flower, I guess that's kind of hard to do. Like, be like trying to choose your favorite bird or favorite favorite place to get pizza it's so hard to do so I don't know I really like the daffodils they're sure they're beautiful oh you know what there's one that really it's hard for me to decide because after the daffodils die down so you got the crocuses they're gone the daffodils are gone and then you get this flower it's so beautiful and it smells amazing it's called a peony another different kind of name but uh yeah so you just want to kind of color in these. I'm just kind of, in the way I color, I was just kind of just doing one direction of, in this case, making some pretty flowers, red flowers. They're kind of light because this marker's about out of ink, but I like to use them like that because you have more control. The peonies are a flower that come up after the daffodils, and that's when you're getting closer to summer. And you know what makes those peonies so fragrant? They smell, you can smell a peony flower from, you know, like 50 feet away. They're pollinated by ants. And so these bulbs come up on these high stems out in our yard, and these ants cover these stems for like a month. And they're pollinated that way, or the ants do something with it. And, uh... This is a really cool thing. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a little more. 
there's a couple more flowers too that I don't know if you guys have ever seen. I think it's um that one's that mark was about dead. Let's try this one. And then we're gonna just spin the petals again. See how you this is just made for doing flowers the way I draw. And if you guys learn how to do this, you spin and just keep spinning. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. I think I say that in all my videos after it because Dory said it. So, um, yeah, we're just doing this. Let's do another one of these pink flowers. It's pretty. But the iris comes up next. The iris after the peonies, then there's an iris. Iris is a beautiful flower. You can draw those too. I'll have to draw those in one of our videos but so today what we're doing is um, we're just making one page we'll draw for a few minutes it won't take too long of flowers that will then connect to eight more pages which I already have done laying off to the side I drew eight other pages like this so you guys can imagine however long this takes in our video I had to do it eight more times to complete this painting. But it's so worth it because you have a beautiful painting. Sometimes people ask me if I sell my artwork. Uh, I guess that's always a possibility. I haven't, I did when I was younger. Believe it or not, when I was younger, I started, a, if you guys, any of you are artists and you want a really great idea how to make money as an artist, you guys ready for this? If you're an artist, I'll, I'm telling you the secret. So you wanna paint people's pets. So I was painting, I started a business where I'd, I painted people's pets and I was painting people's dogs and stuff. And so that's really good if you if you can paint okay. And uh, I kind of enjoyed it for a while, but you know, I just like abstract art so much that, that what the freedom was kind of out of it. But that's one way to make a living as an artist if you want to paint pets for people. And it's really rewarding. I remember giving some of the paintings to the people. They would pay for it. And I'd deliver the painting and they would cry because you're painting something that they love. And just about everybody, when you would bring the painting to their house to give them the painting, they would, they would come to tears over it. It was very emotional. But it was very rewarding because it, you know, a lot of these pets had already passed away, you know. Life is short, so enjoy every moment you can. Don't take for granted your feet or your breath or your, your health. I took for granted my feet, feet for years. I always, you know, you get up and walk and it's no big deal, but you see people who are in wheelchairs and stuff. And really, you know, don't take for granted being able to walk because... Uh, one of the side effects for me for having COVID was this illness called chill, chill Blains disease. So COVID took out my uh, immune system. My immune system isn't right now. I've been sick for three years, so. But here we are, we're still drawing. But anyway, because of my immune system being sick, uh, my feet got an illness. My feet got an illness called Chill Blains disease. And uh, it's just where your feet turn really red and blister. And so I had to go to the doctor for that. And so they'll say it it's affected by the cold weather. So hopefully that'll go away soon because I don't like having that. Let me see here. I guess I shouldn't be talking about feet while we're painting flowers. Let's get back to the subject of flowers. So Anyway, we're just about done, you guys. And I, you know what's amazing about this is uh, we're going to put this thing together, and I think it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. While we finish up doing these flowers, I just wanted to thank you guys for all your support, all your comments. I read all your comments. I try to answer you guys. And you guys have all, you know, it's really hard right now to grow an art channel on YouTube. Um, it was going really good for a while there when I first started. And then, um, when the shorts, I don't know if you guys know, but there's these, 
YouTube Shorts, they uh, they were going really well. But when the YouTube Shorts started to monetize, um, YouTube got flooded with traffic from YouTubers and stuff. So my videos, I think, don't get recommended very often. So it really comes down to the subscribers watching your videos. Um, yeah, I have... Uh, we got to over seven, 1,750 subscribers now, something like that. Pretty awesome. But you don't get monetized from YouTube unless you have uh, 4,000 hours watch time. And that's, I don't have that. I don't have anywhere near 4,000 hours watch time. Even though we've been doing the channel for about, uh, I think the channel's probably about four months old, maybe five months now. So, I guess if you look at it like that, five months on YouTube and have almost 2,000, built up an art family of almost 2,000 people, that's not bad. But yeah, I hope you guys can see this okay, and if you are drawn along with me, I hope it's been relaxing for you to sit here and enjoy my talking. I hope this, my talking is more soothing than, than repulsive because I know there's some people um, that I know you don't want to hear uh, some people it just gets kind of aggravating in the video so maybe I'll I might do some more quiet videos I like quiet time I know that I like to sit out on my porch swing and watch the birds all right isn't that pretty you guys we're not done yet we're just gonna put the background on it real quick and now remember, the most rewarding, the rewarding part of this is coming because we are about to put this thing together like a puzzle with nine other drawings that look quite a bit like this one. So a lot of times when I'm doing backgrounds, I'll just do a kind of, I don't know where this came from. Maybe, I don't know, this would be so super simplified to, to call this Van Gogh stuff, but Van Gogh, he, he did this thing where his paint would be these little brush strokes and then they would just kind of follow a certain direction. So, I mean, he was amazing because he kept overlapping. I mean, this is so simplified of that, but I mean, if I wanted to start putting some other colors in between here, like if I put some other colors of lighter greens and different colors, then it would be more like him. But he did these just like that. They're brush, brush strokes. Anyway, this is how you finish up your background. I mean, you could color it in with more solid color, like if I really put the brush strokes together, but... So we're just kind of finishing it up with some green. And then we are gonna put this thing together, and I think it's gonna be awesome. Just about done here for, for coloring today. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And, uh... We're not quite done yet because we're going to put this thing together and I think you guys are going to really like it. It's going to be, it's our theme of this art channel now is we're going to be making some bigger pictures. So this, but when I see you guys next, we're going to be on the floor putting this together like a big masterpiece, like a big puzzle, okay? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy drawing these beautiful flowers. we got some orange ones up here, this beautiful purple flower in the middle. Or actually, they called it primrose. And then we had some pink, and then our little, like, red no, like poppies, maybe. So, let me move this over here and get it in the middle so you guys can see it. We're about to put this thing, thing together. Thanks for drawing with me today, you guys. Let's let's go on to the net, our last step. We're going to put this together on, on the floor as a puzzle. All right, I'll see you there. All right, everyone, we've just finished our drawing here at the table. Beautiful marker drawing. We're gonna put this final piece in place and finish off our, our uh, painting. You can see it wasn't nine pieces of paper. I decided to just do four and because uh, it was taking me so long to draw the other ones, but it still looks pretty with just four pieces of paper. I hope you guys enjoy this and you're inspired to maybe get your markers and your crayons and pencils out and go out to the table and do some drawing today. And, you can see what you can do with just using markers. Came out kind of nice. I just want to thank you guys all for tuning in and 
enjoying the art with me and if you guys like the content and the art on the channel please consider uh, subscribing and as always I appreciate all your likes and comments let's keep this channel growing everybody we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching